Hey everybody, Old Guy Jammin' here, bringing you another super high-tech and incredibly recorded video between the Monoprice and the Blackstar HT5. Just so impressed with the stage right Monoprice amp. It keeps, keeps surprising me, and I'm doing something I thought I'd never do. I'm selling the Blackstar while I can still get some money out of it. Uh, I should have sold it before. The MK2 came out because nobody's going to want this anymore. But it's a classic. And it's a great amp. But the, uh, oh, and hit that subscribe button. The, uh, this guy right here, the Stage Right, sold by Monoprice and Amazon, other retailers, but the name is Stage Right. This is the uh, 15 watt combo. It's just killer. It takes pedals great. It's got a great clean channel, it has an effects loop. I did put a ET65 speaker in it. It's a 12-inch speaker, but it's solid and it's pretty. One of the somebody wrote in and said they couldn't get past the elef the cocaine elephant hide, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but it sets it apart. It's kind of unique, so I don't mind that. And it's just a great grab and go, cheap amplifier that sounds great. Plus, the PC board in here is something I think I could fix, whereas in the Black Star. It's got a lot of integrated circuits and ASICs, or application-specific ICs, those real tiny ones with a, little, with a lot of legs that you, you wouldn't be able to replace. Surface mount type stuff, small. Whereas this is more discrete components, simple, uh, and yet sounds great, takes pedals like a champ, rings out. And anyway, this comparison is just uh, not uh, not anything more than to see if we can get the the tones that you would get out of a black star out of this and i know it doesn't have two channels this is a single channel amp so what i did was in the first comparison it's just you hear a clean tone between the two and the reverb was a little lower on this than the black star this has a spring reverb which sounds great and uh, so you hear some clean and then we turn on the crunch so in the first video this is clean and this is clean for the dirty tone we use the super badass distortion by mxr and then to drive up a lead tone we use the uh, mojo mojo by tc electronics nice little pedal great to have it works great with the marshall and it works great as a dirty boost and uh, then to see and they sound great they're comparable um, I think I favor the tones coming out of the stage right, but on the first video, it's really hard to tell. It sounds, they sound very close, you know, and this isn't high tech in here. Um, I'm sure if I spent more time tweaking on stuff and listening to playbacks and tweaking, I might be able to get the tones more similar, even than they are, but in the room, what I've noticed is when something sounds the same to me in the room, Often on playback, it's a little different, and then. Uh, but what you hear on YouTube isn't what I hear in the room anyway. We lose a lot of that fidelity. So then, then on the second one for the dirt channel, all we do is switch channels on the two-channel amp, and uh, over this one, I just turned the gain up and the volume down, and so that's just this this dirty sound and this dirty sound without the badass, but. Then I used the Mojo Mojo to, to uh, kick it in the butt and create a lead tone. That was pretty good. And then this isn't about me playing. This is about the tones. And, you know, it's one takes. It's a different, just a, a riff and some noodling. So just try to listen to that rather than the technical aspects of the playing. <laughs> All right. And we'll leave you with that. Old guy jamming. Subscribe. It's going up for sale. I can't believe it. But this uh, $170 amp, it's just a knockout, man. And then it attenuates down to one watt. I don't think it sounds as good that way, but it, it's great. So I'm going to keep it, sell that, because how many amps do you need? I think you need three. But that might be subject for another video. I don't know. All right, so Old Guy Jamming is out. Enjoy. Subscribe. We'll see you next time.
ton of fun the uh, black star I think uh, compresses when it's pushed when it's on its dirty channel and you try to push a lead tone out of it with another pedal I've noticed this with uh, various pedals OCD this one or others and I think it's because of the uh, the clipping diodes that they use 
and which isn't a bad thing. A lot of amps are using digital aspects uh, these days, but they this only has two preamp tubes and then the two out uh, power power stage tubes. This has three preamp. Marshall has four. The Black any Black Star usually only has two, and I think that limits what you can do with the preamp stage, on, especially on the dirty channel. Um, they take pedals great on the clean side, but when you try to jack up a great lead tone, um, I think you hear that compression and a little bit of mush comes up, which I don't hear with uh, the stage right, which is why I want to keep it. Now, can you get a good lead tone out of this by cranking up the gain? You can, but then you have lost your rhythm channel, your rhythm tone. Uh, so that it's kind of limiting, whereas this you can have a great rhythm, dirt rhythm tone, and then boost it with a pedal and fool around. It's good stuff. All right, so let me know what you think. And uh, it was a ton of fun. It's raining outside. Otherwise, I would be burning brush and cutting wood. So thank you for the rain. Enjoy. Be kind. Happy graduation to all uh, you kids. Be safe. For crying out loud. You got the rest of your life to do not so stuff and to party. Get through the next five, six, seven years without making some serious mistakes, all right? You got the rest of your life to do that. Right now, you need to focus on getting through school and getting a great job. Old guy out. <laughs>